you all. Happy Sunday. I am Emma and I am the social media manager here at Myrie Skincare. And one of the questions that we get asked most across email, social media, in person is how to create a routine with the Myrie products or how do we use them personally or even how do you incorporate them into your own routine? So I thought I would invite you into my bathroom this Sunday evening to show you my routine and how I utilise the products in the best way for me, um, but maybe that'll give you a little bit of inspiration as to how you can use them as well. So I have a full face of makeup on. I've been out today busy doing. So this is the end of the day makeup. I've had it on all day. And so because I am wearing makeup, I am going to do a double cleanse. So if you haven't heard of a double cleanse before, um, basically the idea is that if you just cleanse your skin once whilst you're wearing makeup or SPF or you have something already on your skin, really all you're doing is removing that from your skin. You're not really cleaning your actual skin. So with a double cleanse, you use the first cleanse to take all your makeup off and then the second cleanse actually cleanses your skin itself. So that's how we're going to start. We have a fabulous gentle cleanser, which is this one which is apricot and starflower. We also offer it in a fragrance-free version, which is fantastic if you have super sensitive skin or just don't like fragrance in general. Both of the cleansers come with a muslin cloth. It's double-sided and it's made of 100% cotton. It's soft, or softer on one side, almost like what I would class like a light jersey material. And the other side has a slightly rougher, not uncomfortable or anything, but a slightly rougher texture to it. If you do have super sensitive skin, I would say stick to the, the softer side. I don't, so I use I use a slightly rougher side. So that goes into warm water, not hot water, warm water. And then into my palm, just two decent pumps of the cleanser. Into my hands and straight onto my face. And whilst I'm doing this, I tend to do it in circular, circular motions which really helps one, shift all the makeup, but two also, it's a really nice ritual for calming the skin, for I suppose getting getting ready for bed. It's like a little mini, mini face massage. Don't forget to take it under your chin, up to where your ears are, where you put makeup on. And if you do have waterproof mascara, this takes it off fantastically. Just be ever so gentle on your eyes. I think people tend to be a little, little rough around their eyes and the skin is significantly thinner there than the rest of your face. So, once that first one is done, you might look a little clownish like me, but it's fine. So, rinse out the cloth and then in very gentle sweeping motion, without tugging or pulling on the skin, I'm just going to remove that lovely oil along with the remnants of the makeup that is left behind. Um, again, try not to pull on your skin anytime, but especially not end of the day when you know your skin's feeling a little a little sensitive anyway after a busy day of doing and being and going okay so that is lovely and heading now for the washing machine so that's got all my makeup on it and then i'm going to take a second so two again and again into your hands and onto your face now this second one i really do push the product into my skin so as you can see, in upward motions, circular motions, I'm really, really pushing that, without being too firm, into the skin, always in upwards motion. This is removing any underlying dirt or uh, dead cells and what have you, and dead skin from underneath where your makeup's been, that your skin just naturally accumulates. Now, I don't have sensitive skin, but if your skin starts to go ever so slightly pink like this, that's absolutely fine because what you're doing is by doing the massage, you're increasing circulation under the skin. So you will go, might go ever so slightly pink like I do. Okay, so that's a good, I would say a good minute of rubbing that into your skin. Cloth back into the water, nice warm water again, not hot. It's really important you don't put hot water onto your skin. And then I'm actually going to use the soft side this time to very gently remove the oil from my skin. And obviously, if you have had a decent amount of makeup on, which I did, you may find that this second cleanse actually takes some of the makeup off as well, which just proves the point of how important doing that second cleanse is 
because you know if you do leave makeup on your skin then you're not really giving your skin chance to you know to rejuvenate overnight so that's this side so as you can see it has still pulled a little bit of makeup off but i have a completely completely clean face now okay next step and this is where people get a bit oh i don't know what to do so we have three of our super boost drops so these are they all three of them we have got the um Barisi oil which is protective we have got the marula which is calming and we have got the blackberry which is brightening it's up to you you can use one of them you can use a mixture of two which is what i'm going to do um, or you don't have to use one at all it's it's an additional step in your skincare rather than a requirement so i am actually going to use the protective and the calming um, because I have had quite a lot of uh, makeup on the last few, last week, I suppose. So my skin has had a bit of a, has gone through it a little bit. So they come in these with these pop, lovely little droppers. So in, and I reckon I take about three drops of each into my hand. And again, not dissimilar to the second cleanse, into my hands and onto my face. And again, in that lovely sweeping upward motion, under your chin, even up up onto up your neck. I'm an, we're an advocate here of not forgetting our necks. So into the skin, just like that. Wonderful. Right. So that is two cleanses, and then my booster on. Now I'm going to move on to the serum, which I would say is probably, I would say it's my it's my favourite currently product that we have again it comes in a comes in a dropper and i tend to have about that much it works out one two three four about four four drops worth now unlike the booster which i rub into my skin i coat my hands with this and i very gently but with a little bit of pressure press the serum into my face Everywhere that needs a bit of TLC, needs a bit of love, not forgetting your neck. And then once it's pressed in, then I just run my hands over ever so gently to make sure that's all rubbed in. Now, you don't need to worry about rubbing it into the skin completely. It doesn't need to be vanished. It will leave, as you can see on my skin. It has a glow to it. It will leave a slight sheen to your skin. That's what we want. Now, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something. Such a sneak peek in fact, that it doesn't even have a label on it. This is our brand new product, which isn't launching until the beginning of March, but has become an absolute staple in my skincare routine. So scroll off the top and one, two, three little drops onto my hand. Now, this is a game changer for us. It's an absolutely phenomenal product. It's 100% of the thing that it is which might give you a clue and it is absolutely phenomenal for helping to keep that hydration in your face so keep the moisture that's already in your face there not vanishing off into the ether not drying your skin out so I rubbed it into my hands and again it's the last oh oh it's so dreamy the last step into the skin not too close to the eyes and I also really like to rub them into my eyebrows to give them a little bit of extra nourishment all around my nose, across my lips, even onto my ears. There we go. And that is me done. That's my 10 minute, less than 10 minute, nine minute routine um, at night. What you could do is if your skin was feeling particularly sensitive or struggling, maybe you've been out on a really bracing walk and you've got a bit of wind, um, wind burn or sunburn if you're somewhere warm, um, our superfood balm. This stuff is magical. You can use it for all sorts, dry skin, chapped um, cuticles, dry skin on your elbows, achy feet, it's really good for, uh, it's like a really little bit on the ends of your hair for flyaway hairs. But if you wanted to, you could use this as a mask and I do use it as a mask. So the consistency is, I'll show you it. So the consistency is like this. It is 
goes to an oil consistency when you rub it in, but a thicker, a thicker oil than, than the serums. So onto the skin. Oh, lush. Now, if you wanted to, you could sleep in this if you wanted an overnight treatment, if you was really sore, dry skin. Or, like me, I'm going to leave this on, give my hands a quick wash, go make myself a cup of tea, watch a bit of TV. And in about 20 minutes, I'm going to come and take it off and I'm going to head off to bed. So I really hope that helped and it answered some of your questions. However, by all means, ask away. You can ask in the comments of this IGTV video or find us anywhere on social media and ask us then. Hope you have a really fantastic evening and a great week. Take care. Bye.